Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to episode six of Nino Kuni. Last time we left off, we were doing what were we doing? Um, we just got mm, the king all sorted out, and he said, "Come back later, and we can go and, and have his his wand." So tonight, we're going to follow along some missions and basically just follow the storyline. Where do we need to go? Do, 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 do. Oh, we're gonna get uh, get drippy some weapons, maybe some armor. I think is that right? Oh wait! No, oh, no, no, not that. There we go. Uh, obtained a poison be gone. What is this place? Can I go in here? Oh, excuse me, lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're supposed to be looking inside the pots for um, an earring, grandmother's earring, and we need to grab some. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Didn't I have? Booster shoots. Plant sort flower. Right there. Isn't that what one of the missions was? Where's the quest log? Journal. Phillips Big News. Uh, oh, here we go. Errands. Safe hiding place. Flash of color. Fetch two plant sort flower. Okay. And then two bottles of uh, spring water. Well, poop. Alright. Let's keep going. Shoe birds. There's a pot. Nope, nothing there. Ooh, here's some flowers. Can we just take theirs? No. Alright, fine, fine. It says, head to the cat's place. Hey, this is that alley, right? Now, hold up. There was a, uh... Hi! Hi, lady. Pay no attention to me over here. It seems to be sealed by some kind of magic. Okay. Uh, I know that... Wait, is it this one? There we go. Spring lock. I encourage that which is shut tight to open. Does not work on human hearts. Oh, it worked! I got a sandwich. Sorry, lady, I'm taking your lunch. <laughs> My apologies. I'm not even going to talk to you. I'm just, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Can I go up the ladder? Nope. I'm sorry. I'm kind of just all over the place tonight. Just, uh, just having fun. Uh, let's go this way. There we go. Uh, you'll have to excuse my nose. It's a little clogged up at the moment. Oh, is this another one? Hold on. Is this Loctite? No, it's not. I got a Sunday. Yum. No, wait. What does the, uh, what does the Sunday do? Hold on. Uh, okay. Soft white bread makes feeling not too heavy. Make sure sandwich. Uh, leaves extract. Oh, body. Okay. Do -do -do -do. A pie. Uh, accuracy increased and heaviness something. I don't know what that means. Uh, magical increase. Evasion increase. Magical defense increase. Well, uh, I should be able to feed that to my little guy, right? Uh, hold on. How do I feed... Okay, that's not working. Wait, am I doing this right? I'm not doing this right, am I? Okay, hold on. There we go. Hit the treat. Nope, hit. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Uh, sort. Okay, I don't know what the sort does either. Um, hold on, how do I, how do I switch characters? Oh, 
Okay, I'm lost. Nope, I can't take it down to him. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go, creature cage. There we go. Alright, buddy. You are getting uh, a pie to increase your accuracy. And another pie to increase your accuracy. You've already got 26, but... Nice, he's up to 27. Joe's Jack's accuracy has increased by one point. Uh, let's increase your evasion. Gonna give him a tummy ache. Now, I can't feed this to myself, right? Magical defense is currently 20. <laughs> His fullness. There you go, buddy. Okay. We got rid of all the little trees, because I don't have any other familiars at the moment, so... Caw! Caw! It's you! His Majesty informed me that you would be coming. He instructed me to sell you whatever you require. I am more than happy to cooperate. So, have a rook around. I'm sure you'll find something here which, will, uh, which you can equip your familiars. Equip my familiars? How do you mean, sir? Ah, it seems an explanation is in order. Very well, then. Here crows nothing. <laughs> the puns in this game are punny. <laughs> uh, to ensure your familiars don't get caught short, you can give them a boost by equipping them with certain items. I don't want to crow, but you'll find plenty of items on your familiar... Right. Items your familiar can equip among the, my wares. There are three types. Weapons, armors, and accessories. Just remember that the items a familiar can equip vary according according to its gen genus. It's not complicated, so don't get into a flap. The best way to learn is to just try equipping your familiars. But don't feel left out, will you? Humans can, of course... Uh, equipped items too. Select the friends and familiars and press the X to change the items that you have equipped. Gah! Why not buy some nice, a nice matching set of items for you and your familiar? Birds of a feather stick together after all. Gee, uh, okay. Uh, as soon as I have some money, I'll start buying some accessories and stuff. Sounds like the old bird has done the proper sales, sales number on you, Ollie boy. Just remember that accessories ain't the only thing that you can equip. Wizards like you can also uh, can also use can use all sorts of wands as well. Flippin' heck, man. Speaking of wands, we need to go and get your new wand from King Tom, ain't it? Clean forgotten, I had. Oh yeah, I guess we'd probably find it by now. I reckon so, Ollie boy. Come on, let's head to that palace. Head for the palace. Okay, can I? Like... Alright. Okay, bye. 50 gold. Okay, I've actually got pretty good. Okay, he's currently at 13, and this would increase him to 23. If I give him a wooden sword, it's better than the sword he has equipped. What? 26. Uh, oh, okay. Magical. What is that? Springhorn. Distinctive shape makes it somewhat tricky weapon to use effectively. Kitchen knife. <laughs> Buy him a kitchen knife. <laughs> Look out. Reasonably priced and usually for battle. Uh, sharpened stick he cannot use. So that's like a spear. Wooden helmet uh, he can't use, can't use, can't use. What about the shield? He can use the shield. And he cannot use the giant's tooth. Okay, so... Uh, that would only increase him by... 23? Wait, that doesn't sound right. 22 and 23. Alright, okay, magical shield, regular shield. So let's hit back. Okay, okay. And let's go to friends and familiars. 22, 23. Magical defense is 22 right now. Uh, regular defense is 20. So that would increase him only 3 points... 
That doesn't really sound like that big of a an increase. Um, that would take him up to 26. And we can't use that, so. What's his attack right now? I, I forgot to look. All right, come on, come on, come on. Nope, not that. This right, nope, this right here. Thank you. So his current attack is 20, which would only take him up to 23. Defense is 20, take him up to 23. So either way, it's kind of a bad deal. So let's, uh, let's head out. I don't know how much money I'm going to be able to get later. Who knows? Sorry, lady. I'm, I'm still looking for those uh, planters warts. Or something. I don't know what they're called. Planes warts? Do, 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 do. There we go. Hey, heading back to the castle. Look, there's a statue of him. King Tom the Magnificent. The Meow Magnificent. I'm glad he can talk and that, you know, cat's not got his tongue. <laughs> Get it. Uh oh. This guy looks worried, and I don't see King Tom. What's going on? Hey, buddy. Oh, it's you! Thank goodness! You have to help us! Something terrible has happened! Of course it did. Flippin' Hackman, don't tell me old King Tom's gone and got his heart broken again! No, no, his majesty, majesty's heart is good now, uh, in good working order, as far as I know. As far as you, uh, as far as you know... After you re uh, restored His Majesty's missing enthusiasm, he was determined to find his old wand so that he could give it to you by way of reward. So determined, in fact, that he would go and look for it himself. Well, that's good, ain't it? That's all—that's what all the fuss is about? His Majesty has disappeared. Eh? The gatekeepers swear that he hasn't left Ding Dong Dell, and yet he's nowhere to be found. Hmm, I smell a rat. I smell a rat by here, Ollie boy. Well, I suppose there's only one thing for it. One thing for it, eh? Uh, what's that, Mr. Jippy? A spot of investigating, ain't it? Right oh! Hel helmet face. You and your mates keep an eye on the castle. We're going to look for clues. Oh, er, yes, understood. But where do we look, Mr. Trippy? Don't worry, Ali boy. You know the place. You know it very well, in fact. Come on, I'll tell you more when we're outside. Uh, okay. <laughs> the storyline of this thing. Where are we going, Mr. Trippy? And what's this about somewhere I know real well? You'd, uh, where'd you think, clever clogs? Motorville, ain't it? Motorville? But what does Motorville have to do with the finding the king? Well, the answer's always going to be over by here, Ali boy. Huh? What does that mean? You've got to remember the whole, uh, the whole soulmate thing, ain't it? What we see here in our world ain't it always the whole picture. Wait, what? Soulmates, okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are you here in our world, eh? Uh, to save my mom. Exactly. And your mom is a great sage, Alicia's soulmate, right? And we're trying to free Alicia from the soul snare over by here so we can help your mom back over there, by there, ain't it? Well, that's what you told me, Mr. Drippy. And I wasn't fibbing. So people in your world and my world are connected, not just Alicia and your mom, all people. They are? So... Exactly clever of you. There's someone over there in your world who's connected to T King Tom over by here. And when someone over in... Wait. When someone in our world is in a potch, you can sometimes find out how to help them by their soulmate over in your world. Because they're connected, eh? See? Obvious when you think about it, ain't it? So, somebody in my world is King Tom's soulmate, huh? That's right! But maybe not a person. 
And maybe it's not such a lofty position as our friend the Cat King. Huh? Well, Shopkeeper's Cat and King of Ding Dong Dell ain't exactly similar status-wise, is it? Shopkeeper's Cat, I don't think I... Flippin' heck, man! It's like pulling teeth. Okay, so soulmates can look and act even and even act the same, right? We've covered that already. So when you first saw King Tom, you instantly thought of yourself. Hello, hello. He's uh, the spitting image of Timmy the cat he is. I did. So, oh, so you mean that King Tom is... King Tom is Timmy Toldrum. Toldrum are? But Miss Lily is cat? That's clever of you. Better late than never. But Timmy's just a cat. Exactly. Just like our pal King Tom. What's so strange about that? Crikey, you're not very perceptive, are you, youngster? For a youngster, are you? If two people are soulmates, there'll be similarities somewhere. You've just got to keep an open mind and... Uh, a peeled eye. Eyes peeled. Spot the similarities and you'll find the soulmate. Gee, I never knew... So, Timmy, huh? Timmy, indeed, my lad. If we can find that old fat furball, we might get a clue as to where Tom's got himself to. So, magic us up a gateway and let's get over to your world, shall we? You remember how to, don't you? Sure I do. Let's see everybody back in Motorville is doing. Okay, so I need to go to my spells. Gateway. Cast a gateway. Oh, that's cool. Wait, are my clothes going to be... Yeah, I still look weird. Okay. What's that? Who's my soulmate? Well, obviously it's someone rich and handsome, ain't it? Oi! What are you making a face for? <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, uh, next door. There we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, Oliver! Seeing you, I, I just don't know what to say, dear. It's fine, Miss Le Leah. Le Le Leila. Leila. I'm okay now. You are? Well, I'm pleased to hear that, honey, but... Oh, she's got an accent. Well, I'm pleased to hear that, honey, but... There's anything I can do, you just let me know, won't you? Actually, there is something that you can do for me right now. Miss Leah, can you tell me where Timmy is? Is he here in the store? Well, now, that's... That you mention it, I don't think I've seen him. Timmy! Timmy! Where's my Timmy Toldrum? He must have run off somewhere, that little rascal. He's probably gone exploring, huh? Oi, Ali boy! Does this little situation remind you of anything? It sure does. It's just like what happened to King Tom. Bingo! We've got ourselves a missing cat king in one world and a missing fat cat in another. And I'd reckon the reason why they'll be the same too. Track down Timmy and you're sure to find the vital clue that will help us solve the mystery. There's shop of ya. And it's here, it's... It, this here's your patch, ain't it? You know it like the back of your hand. Uh-huh. I'll solve the case of the missing cat in no time. I'm awful sorry I couldn't help you, dearie. But you did help. Thanks, Miss Leah. Leela. I, I did? Well, all right then. Goodbye now, dear. Goodbye, Miss Leah. Right oh, Ollie boy. Let's start out where you know best, shall we? Round your house, I mean. Sure, let's go. I can just hear her now as we're walking out. That strange boy. He's got them weird clothes on and he's just talking to himself now. Poor dear. <laughs> I've got a star on my mini map. There it is. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, 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 stuck on a tree. 
I can cast spells. I can go transmuting through different dimensions. But if you put me up against an oak tree... Hey, it's the girl! Oliver? I'm sorry, Oliver. It's you. We haven't looked in your house yet, have we, Ollie boy? I'll run over and check now. Be back in a bit. Uh, okay, Mr. Drippy. Huh. Question mark, question mark. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry you're all alone. Huh? Your mummy. Y you know about that? When my mom died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would be all I thought I would be all alone. But now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. Oh, and I wanted to ask you, that wand, the one I found, did you leave it for me? Without it, I could have never gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if you hadn't been if it hadn't been for that wand, I I'd, I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? Really, really. Hooray! I hope I can that you can save your mummy, Oliver. Thanks, but who are you? How do you know my name? I'm P. <laughs> I've always known you, Oliver. Always? Your name is P, huh? Yes, I'm P. Oh, hey, P. Have you seen a big old cat? His name is Timmy Toldrum, and he has stripes all over, and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty? I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? I'll take you to Mr. Kitty, Oliver. Follow me. She must be Timmy, right? All right. Oi, Ollie boy, no sign of the old fat cat in the mog in... Uh, of that, the mog in the house. Wait, what? I'm afraid. <clears throat> what do you... Uh, what are you standing around here by your own... Anyway, wow. His accent, I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot read it. I might just know where to find Timmy, Mr. Drippy. You... What? How? Where? Hmm? Please, P, could you show us? Uh, what's this all about, then? Are you all right, Ollie boy? Because Mr. Drippy can't see her. Oh, that's crazy. Is she a ghosty? She has the same pale look as that little boy did. Oh, I thought that was a transition scene. Maybe not. She took us the long way around. Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh. Huh? Listen. What's that? Squeak, squeak. Oh, it's a cat. A m mouse. Hey, is there something through there? Is there? Timmy! Or Timmy. Boy, Timmy boy, pull yourself together, man. Looks like we'd better take him back to Leela, ain't it, Ollie boy? You're right. Thank you for showing us, P. Huh? But she was... Where'd she go? Wait, can I move? What are you standing around for, lazy bones? Get a flip and move on! <laughs> nice fireman's carry there, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Go this nope, I need to go one more road. I think the fastest way around town is this this south path. But for some reason she took us all the way over the other way. Leila's milk bar. Welcome. Miss Leela, it's Timmy. He's... Oh, goodness. My Timmy told him whatever happened to you. 
Oh, thank you, dearie. You brought him he all the way here back from, uh, way back home to Mama. Wasn't he heavy? Uh, no, not really. Is he okay? Oh, don't worry about Timmy, Oliver. It's nothing serious. He's just a little tired, aren't you, Timmy, dearie? It doesn't take much to tire out the big old boy like you, does it, Smook Snookums? <laughs> Is that all? I was flippin' worried that he... Uh, I was worried flippin' sick about him. But what was Tom doing all the way down at the garage? Well, Derry, one of my customers told me all about it. She said that Rusty's garage is crawling with mice. And my dear old Tommy Toldrum just loves to chase them little devils. Timmy loves to chase mice, but he's so f fluffy. Thank you so much, Oliver, dearie. Now I'm, now I know that's where he he's. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for the dialogue. Now I know that's where he disappeared to. I can stop worrying about him. He was just getting a little exercise, weren't you, my Timmy Toldrum? I guess I could learn a thing or two from, from you, huh? Too flippin' right you could. Oh, dude, <laughs> he is so mean. Uh, okay, Miss Leela, I have to go now. It was nice seeing you. And you, dearie, just let me know if there's anything you need now, won't you? Tidy! We've worked it out, too, I expect. Ain't it, Ollie boy? Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Drippy. Come on, man. M uh, Timmy disappeared because he ran off to chase a mouse, didn't he? So the mouse is the clue, ain't it? Is it? King Tom's disappeared to do, uh, has to do with mice too? Got it in one! Exactly what it has to do with the mice is a whole nother question, though. But I'm sure I've heard someone saying something about mice over in our other world. Then we should go back to Ding Dong Dell and investigate. I just know we'll find him some, find something. Righto, Ding Dong Dell it is! Okay, so to cast the spell, we gotta we gotta go find a big open space again, right? Where was the middle of town? Or can I just cast it here? Let's try. I wonder if I'll end up somewhere else over there. Well, apparently I don't need a big space. Here we go. Did somebody just hoof me? Hmm. What? Okay. There's lots of people talking. H hello. Oh, oh, let's look in the pot. Did we find it? You received five gil guilders. No, nope, that's not it. as we go along here. Lots of people, lots of things. There you are! Hey, Ollie! Oliver! I think I just heard Tink Kung... Blah, 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 blah. King Tom's voice uh, coming from down in the Ding Dong Well. Huh? Ding Dong Well? Yes, I could hear it coming from the other side of that gate. It was definitely King Tom. I'm sure of it. Ding Dong Well, eh? You you said there were mice living down there, ain't it? Oh, that was that was the wrong voice. Yes, this place is full of mice. That's why I'm standing here, is to keep you guard. Mice and cats really don't get along, you see. Oh, Nickers, I know what's happened. King Tom's been kidnapped by the mice. K kidnapped? That's right. You saw how Timmy went after the mice in the, your world? Well, in this world by here, the tables have turned. It's only, it's the only explanation, man. Crikey, it's a good job I'm here to put two and two together for you, ain't it? If King Tom's been kidnapped, we need to rescue him. Are you going down Ding Dong Dell, Oliver? Then I'm coming with you. Don't be daft, man. This is a job for professionals, ain't it? Not some underage vi vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet. I'll be okay. I'll have my friend with me. Who's your friend?
Okay. It's a monkey. Look at that! A flippin' familiar! Well, I never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, do you, sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flippin' hard. Your average person can't just jump into a fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard, like Ollie Boy here. Okay, then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. Oh, sweet. Jeez, thanks, Tom. Thank you very much. Oh, we have to we have to find somebody's name. Uh, let's go to the last episode, and we will pick out the. Hello, uh, code Prime hello, eight. hello. I need to go to uh, YouTube. Go into go to YouTube, and we're going to pick out the um, comment from the last video. So from episode five, let's go to studio. Episode five, and I'm gonna find the, my favoriteest. Uh, comment from episode 5, shall we? Go to the comment section. And there's three. <laughs> wow, you guys really didn't comment on this one, did you? Uh, hey Code, I'm a huge fan, smiley face. Uh, Caveman says uh, first and says, I've got a shirt, it's cool. So I'm actually going to pick... Shemine? I think that's how you say it. Uh, let's see here. We'll go... Is this the delete button? Uh, that'll be fine. It is a capital S. Uh, how do I do lowercase? Do you select for lowercase? S H E M I N Where's N? Oh, it's all the way over there. N E M And I, I can't do the, the cry face, but that is the name that I've chosen. Sweet! Sheminim Sheminim I hope I, I'm saying that right. Woo! Uh, we'd better head down there, huh? Indeed we had, Ollie boy. Leave it to us, Tom, my lad. Okay, be careful, Oliver. Hey, Ollie boy, it looks like you can uh, get that new familiar of yours to psych up. Uh, I can? Gee, what's that mean, Mr. Drippy? Well, it means sort of build up its strength for a bit, ain't it? So it can give the baddies a proper whacking like. Once a familiar is psyched up, instead of attacking like normal, he can let him go wild. You can let him go wild. And when a familiar goes wild, it attacks for longer and does loads more damage. Gee, that sounds real neat. It gets better, Ollie boy. This new technique of yours will make it easier to cancel enemies' actions as well. Cancel enemies' Uh, what? Yeah, man. It sh uh, I should have told you about it earlier, I suppose. Some creatures have got a pretty ta tasty tricks up their sleeve, see? But give them a whack and then... Bleh. But give them a whack, and when they're getting ready to try one, and they won't be able to pull it off, it'll be cancelled, ain't it? Cancelling enemies' actions like... This is much easier when you go wild, so it's a good way to keep yourself safe uh, from harm and all. The only thing is, familiars can psych up, can't defend for Toffee. It's just, it just ain't in their nature. The feisty little blighters. Anyway, now that you've got the two little mates, you'll soon see yourself and all creatures are different. Uh, I guess I will. All right, uh, I would say let's go, but it is already 30 past the hour. <sighs> oh, no. So let's hit that save button. New save. We're going to create that data. Done? I, I think. Did that work? Inokuni right there. Head deep into the rescue the king. There we go. 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Nino Kuni with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. And I'm going to try to put a link down in the description if you're interested in purchasing Nino Kuni for the PlayStation 4 or the uh, Nintendo Switch. If you use those links, it should be an affiliate link. So if you purchase it from the link that I provide, I should get a small percentage of the sale itself. Um, I'm just trying this out. This is the first time I've ever tried it. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try. Um, there might not even be a link down below. I don't know how this goes. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. In next time, Nino Kuni. Outro.